Did you see here, I'm at the bandsaw. We're gonna take our time and split these down the center. They're about three inches tall, by about one inch wide. I'm just gonna do random patterns. Now I'm going to turn and cut on the side at 1 4 inch along, get as many strips as I can. When you get a little closer to the blade you may want to use a little uh, uh, sacrificial block or a little foam block of some kind to push your last cuts through. So when he's come off the bandsaw you can make uh, all kinds of things with them, but this is what's really cool about it is, is you can lay it out in more of a pattern if you really wanted to. All right, I'm just going to finish up a little bit of brickwork here. Before I can lay down the back. As I'm starting the back, I'm making sure that I'm just using random pieces, just that they don't match up. I'm, I'm not going in any particular pattern with this. And I'm taking the time and cutting little shims on the smaller areas to kind of even it out. And I'm just basically taking to the bandsaw and just ripping down the piece just a little bit real quick. Something I'm doing in this area is, is, a, is a dry fit. I'm cutting all the pieces, making sure they line up nice and tight and before I even begin gluing them down. This kind of helps keep everything a little bit uh, more square or more true in the end. As I'm gluing these down, I'm making sure that I get lots of coverage with the glue. Um, we want that glue to be as strong as possible or each one of those pieces glued together as much as possible. That way they're not moving as you're, as you're running your cutter around the edge. It's more of a safety issue than anything else because this piece is slipping up and down. You want to reach in with your hand and hold them. It's just not wise to do that. So make sure you take the time to get, to get a good coverage of glue. This area is just a bunch of bricks built up with a couple shims behind just to add a little depth. Kind of comes forward and then the bricks fall back down to the normal level of the back. I'm just making a match the other side.
I found it easier just to hang this over the edge of the table and slowly cut this off going up and down. This is just a small demonstration of how I did it. Never reach your other hand in there in front of your cutting blade or get it anywhere close. Then I came along with some sandpaper and I just touched the edge up where I needed. Just smooth the whole edge all the way around. Now that the back is done, let's uh, go ahead and finish up all the brickwork real quick. All the little things that have to be finished up before we throw a first coat of paint on here. I have several places that have bricks that need to go down still. Here I mix just a little bit of glue, a little bit of water, a little bit of paint, making a real thin wash. We want to get that black paint as deep as we can into those little cracks. I will still come back and paint more black on top of this several times probably. I definitely want a deep, deep base.
see I have about 20 hours left to work here between painting and adding the decorations and the foliage and the vines. I will definitely be taking the time and producing a nice little short video finishing this up. Thanks for watching. Please take the time to subscribe.